Grab your marker, paintbrush, or pen. It's time to do art with Miss Faye again. Welcome to Quarantine Art with Mrs. Faye. Yay! Hey boys and girls, today I'm gonna show you how to create a butterfly design uh, using paints, watercolor paints, and pastels. You could also use those uh, food coloring that you have maybe in your uh, baking cabinet with a little water. And then you could use markers or pastels to create it on top, create designs and patterns on top. Once it's dry, the first part, step one, is to create this black and white design, which I'm about to show you. And I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can do it. Y'all ready to go? Okay. There are approximately 20,000 species of butterflies in the world. That's a lot of different butterflies and shapes and colors. However, the one thing they have in common is their symmetry. They are symmetrical in design. That means they have the same designs on both sides. Mother Nature's a great artist. So you're going to get to choose the shape, color, and patterns that you want to use on your butterfly design. No two butterflies will be alike. This is what makes them creative. The first part is to create this black and white design. Fold your paper in half and using either a pastel, sharpie, or paint, you can draw half on the fold. Now make sure the butterfly's body is going half as facing the fold. Trace on one side with your black pastel then fold it, rub, and it will make a light print on the other side. Color it in and then you're ready to go. The other way is to use a pencil so and a sharpie. So you draw half again on the fold using a ruler or something with a straight edge. Rub on the back. You'll see a light transfer. Then you simply draw in the rest of the design symmetrically and color it in with the black sharpie. The final way is to use black paint and a folding method. Fold your paper in half as you did before, paint half of the head, half of the body, fold it, and then retrace. Continue doing that with the wing and the other designs. Allow the paint to dry thoroughly before you continue. Next we get to paint in with color. Now you can use either food coloring or with a little water added, or watercolors out of the pan, add water. Make sure that you are painting in a symmetrical fashion as well. So if you paint a design red on one side, paint it red on the other. Once this is dried, you can add more patterns on top with pastels or markers. Make sure you choose contrasting colors, light against the dark, dark on a light background, and also warm against cool. You can add colors in the background as well with pastels or paint. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on butterflies. And I hope that you are hanging in there through this pandemic and keep watching for more videos and fun ideas from Mrs. Faye. Okay? Make it a great day. Unless you've got other plans. Take care.